In fact, conflict in a marriage needn't be a bad thing. It can sometimes strengthen our marriage, but it's important we deal with it well. Let me give you 10 golden rules for a clean fight. Number one, never ever attack somebody's person. You know, you'll get away with, how come you forgot our son's dental appointment? But it's not a good idea to say, you are such a terrible wife and mother. When you do that, you attack somebody's person, almost touch their very soul. Secondly, stick to the issue. You know, when we're wrong, we love to bring other stuff in. We're arguing over finance, and we say, you know what, if you hadn't been negligent, our goldfish would still be alive. Don't do that. Stick to the issue. Number three, let go of the past. Every marriage has five or six old grenades that they bring out in time of warfare. I will never forget how you humiliated me at that office party. I will never forget how you spoke to my mother at that Christmas. Lay those old grenades down if only to find uh, uh, new ones. Fourthly, try not to interrupt. Allow somebody to get off their chest all they want to say and listen. And number five, say sorry. Sometimes be the first to say sorry. Number six, try not to fight in public. Don't, don't, don't have rows in front of your friends if you can avoid it. Look, it's not the end of the world if your kids see you having a row occasionally, but they also must see you reconciling, mending those fences, coming back together again. That will teach them how to handle uh, conflict. And seven, lose some arguments, particularly if you're good with words. Do you know, if you're good with words, you can stalk out of the kitchen and your brilliant rhetoric has brought you out on top again and you've won the argument. But have you won it? If you could go back and be a fly on the wall and watch what you'd left. Somebody who had so much to get off their chest, but they weren't quite as articulate as you. And it's still festering within them, and one day it will come out. And maybe you haven't won. Maybe you've lost. Rule number eight. Try not just to listen to what the other person is saying when you're having a row, but understand how they are feeling. And take the time to let them know how you feel as well. A couple of years ago, Dan and I were due to meet uh, after work in a, in a restaurant, and I got tied up back at the office, and I was late. By the time I got there, Diane was in a really bad mood. I said, look, I'm sorry, I I'm 30 minutes late. She said, Rob, it's not just about you being late. It's just over the past year or so, I've come to believe you care more about that office than you do about me. And suddenly, we're not arguing about 30 minutes. Diane is let me know how she feels, and that makes all the difference. And then number nine, forgive. Look, in my work, I see lots of pain, and I'm not talking here about the really terrible things that sometimes people have to go through, but, but sometimes it just in ordinary rows, we have to forgive as quickly as possible. Sometimes when we're hurt, somebody says something to us, we go over it and over it in our mind. Try not to do that. Let it go, if you can, forgive and move on. And number 10, sometimes just have the grace to laugh at the silliness of it all. I think if a couple went to see a marriage counselor and the husband said, in 12 years of marriage, my wife and I have been able to agree on nothing. She corrected him. No, no, dear, she said, it's, it's 11 years. In all our marriages, there will be conflict. That in itself is not the big deal. But it is very, very important how we deal with it.